Game UK, and today we're going to take a very nice tour of the Armour Free New Island Altis. Um, it is freaking huge, uh, and I'm going to lie to you, and it's pretty demanding on the system. But uh, we're going to go take a, a look at the main um, city. Um, I can't really pronounce that. Agalokori or something like that. But this thing is huge. It must run for about three or four kilometers from, uh, you know, start. If you're going to count these smaller towns as part of the main one. Um, we're going to start off looking at the power station, which lies just... Uh, outside of it and look at this grove here look that is cool I haven't seen many of these actually in the game uh, but let's go take a look at the actual power plant which I guess is supplying power to the main city which is over there somewhere and this uh, power plant there's just so much detail on this map it is it's pretty much ridiculous <laughs> um, lovely urban combat area here I wonder if we can actually get inside this uh, building let's have a look I'm not sure if we can actually probably not um, I forgot how I uh, move my character here um, let's have a look space so character should be here now oh there he is okay so let's actually go take a look see if we can get in this uh, no we can't okay that's fair enough. Um, well, that's kind of actually disappointing. <laughs> Can we get any side buildings? No. Okay, so this uh, actual power plant is just a, a building which you cannot enter. Okay, that's fair enough. But we still have a lot of uh, cover and detail uh, around the surrounding area. Uh, some open containers here. This old broken beast. Good place to hide. Power cables running into the city. Um, a lot of rubbish and stuff. I've noticed this with uh, Altis. So much rubbish and derelict cars and burnt out stuff everywhere. It's amazing. Uh, we've got a radio tower on the uh, hill up there. Is that? Yeah. That's cool. Um, okay. So that's like the power station. We've got a nice bridge here. And I think the AI can actually drive over bridge bridges. Now, uh, it was a huge problem in Armour 2. Uh, I'm going to call it Armour because people get on my nerves. Uh, not get on my nerves. I get on people's nerves when I call it Armour. <laughs> armour through. Um, armour. Okay. So we're going to go take a look at the main city over here. Let's uh, speed this up a bit. Um, oh, we've got like a, a pool here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's empty and it's not very deep. But, uh, oh well. You get the idea, this used to be a very pleasurable place to visit and live. But now obviously war has uh, made that not true. I've got some nice uh, balconies here. Look at the view you're going to get from here. Look at this view. It's picturesque, isn't it? It, should, it belongs on a postcard. <laughs> That's for sure. I've got another one down here looking straight over the sea bit smaller but uh, amazing view from here you can see the power plant over there you know a dirty old shack in front of it but <laughs> and a massive view of the open ocean there and okay this is like the very outskirts of the town we're like here and the city is just uh, up the road but let's go take a look oh we what we got here some kind of old tennis courts or something cubicles you know you can sit and watch uh, your mates play some uh, tennis or something <laughs> needs a bit of a, a clean up need a garden crew in here but uh, very nice idea this looks like a nice uh, this may have been like a sport area you know a sport complex you know a sports hall or something um, obviously these cars say that uh, it's no longer in use. Um, reminds me of the film Terminator 2 where you see the uh, intro. It's just all these burnt out cars and skeletons and stuff. Uh, we got the cars but we haven't got the skeletons. So let's move on into the uh, city. I'm going to be a lag here. What the fuck? 
Um, oh, there we go, we're back. And so we've got a nice little villa here. Would be a lovely view if you lived there, looking out this window in the morning. Wake up from bed, you know, come up to this. Uh, obviously we'd open the uh, shutters, but uh, we can't do that. So let's carry on to the main city, which is uh, freaking huge, and it's going to bring a really nice element of um, urban warfare into this game. I mean, just let's just take a zoom in on this. Freaking hell, just look at all them roofs. You can see uh, we've got a nice ruined castle on the uh, mountainside over there. But just look at all these houses, and practically, I'd say about 90% of these buildings are enterable. Uh, we've got a Looks like a con oh fucking hell a construction yard in the middle of a crane. All right, let's go take a closer look at that and see what we can find on our way into the uh, city. There's another part of it over there. Look, looks like uh, an industrial zone. Looks like there's a load of factories and stuff or warehouses. Well, it's kind of a mix between a town and a industrial zone I guess um, lovely pleasure beach down there with a few cubicles and some beds oh, skipped a bit too far ahead there let's take a look down some sun beds I mean this is gonna be an amazing place to have some uh, combat obviously in multiplayer it doesn't run very well um, especially with AI running around the uh, city itself um, it does take a huge frame rate drop and I hope that uh, that does change in the future but let's take a look at the uh, construction site in the city We've got a petrol station here with some burnt out cars huge crane I wonder if you can actually climb that let's have a look can we climb this crane Oh, we fucking can. Holy crap. Speed up time, Mr. Zulu. And let's look at the view we get up here. Oh, can we actually get up there? Yes. Okay, so this is our... I'm guessing this is as high as we can go. Oh, maybe not. Oh, can we? No. Okay, fair enough. Maybe you could get choppered, chopper lifted onto that. Uh, what's over there? Ooh, I'm going to take a look. There's just so much to see and do. It's hard to really show you everything. These apartment buildings are pretty cool. Uh, you can't actually get into the main area of the building, but the lobby area is enterable. And, you know, you come up to stairs to the top floor, and you have this, like, balcony area here. And this door would open, of course. Can I uh, put myself there? guess not okay anyway this door would open and look at the tactical view you have of the uh, like northern part of the city and you get a slight view of the ruins over there but uh, you get a nice vantage point from here maybe I get on top of this as well I think this is from like Armour 2 uh, building does remind me of that um, so you've got some nice vantage points if you can actually get on the roofs of these things. Uh, where was I going to look at? Uh, these garages. Let's have a looky. Each one has a back door, so you can't actually get in and stay in. You know, knowing that your back is covered because someone could come through the door here. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is like a industrial area or building site. Um, there's a hospital somewhere in the Oh, there it is. It's, it's a massive building. Oh, we've got a basketball court down here. Excellent. Now, this is cool. This is why the detail I love in this game. It's just like basketball courts, tennis courts, football stadiums, I think. I think there's one somewhere. But just the detail they've gone into. It's just look at the... Even down to the rust on the rim of the basketball hoop. I mean, come on. It's... it's it's beautiful, that's what I can say. Uh, where was that hospital? Here it is. This building is huge, and you've got a massive roof area as well. Um, you know, 
It reminds me of something out of like Left 4 Dead or something. It's pretty huge. I think a big frame rate here again. This uh, city or map does not bode well, even on my gaming machine. And a lot of lot of people, um, you know, reporting problems of uh, having really powerful machines and the game just running like crap, which is a real shame, especially in multiplayer. Oh, some servers are just terrible. But anyway. Look at this huge lobby area we have here. Um, it's just uh, got a desk here you can get behind. Got a massive uh, view out the windows here, but the windows don't give you any protection. So you can. Uh, we've got a garage area here. Oh, I'm not sure if that door will close, but it'd be nice to pull up a car in here, close that garage, and let your enemies go by it. <laughs> so. Okay, this is the ground floor area. I'm not really sure how far we can get. This door takes us to the stairwell. Uh, the stairwell will go up and up. I'm not sure if these doors... No. Okay, so we have to make our way to the roof to actually get anywhere. Which is here. And the vantage point you have from this roof is amazing. Um, you can see... You know the southern side of the city. Go to the other end. You've got like the, uh, the northern part over here, blocked by this huge rock, mainly. But you can get a good view of the hilltop over there, and a huge vantage point on this side. It also has a helipad. Uh, you know, for the emergency helicopters to land. But obviously, this is going to be put to military use. Um, not solar panels and everything. Uh, is that door open? Can I get my character up here? No. It's not going to let me. So, does this... Where does this lead? Okay, so this is like... put you uh, Can put you on the second roof. Maybe. Ooh, where the fuck has he gone? Oh! Okay. <laughs> I just spawned myself up there. Um, okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm not going to spawn into him now because he'll just fall and die. But yeah, this is the hospital in the main city. Lovely building. A lot of detail. Okay, so what else do we have? Another apartment building. A military camp on the hillside over there. Actually, these new um, military outposts are huge. get a view these things are freaking huge they're like a two-story tower and they give you a great oversight let's have a look oh fuck oh god <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen god damn it okay well we had to die at some point i guess uh camera it's so easy now just to go and take a look at stuff uh where was that tower over here So I'm going to take you on a tour on one of these uh, military towers. Come on. Okay, I mean, look, this is our, this is me, little old me, and this is that huge tower. <laughs> okay, so let's take a, a, a run up here. And already we got a good vantage point, and we're only on the staircase. But uh, okay, so we're on the third, well, the first floor. And I'm guessing a lot of rooms in here. Um, it's one just one big room then. Okay, fair enough. So, multiple entrances. That's cool. And look at this view. Wow. Let's get to the. Oh, there's, there's three floors. Holy crap. Observation windows. Great view to see from here. Can see why they placed it here. And is this the top floor? Or are we going to be surprised by another one? Oh, yeah, top floor. And here's a beautiful view of the roof of this uh, guard tower. Wow. Okay. Simply amazing. So, anything else I'm missing? I want to find some of the finer details of this map. We've got another little warehouse area here. 
is cool. Burnt out truck. Got these broken windmills on the hillside. I think actually one of them may be working. But when you use the camera mode, the uh, time freezes. So um, we've got all these warehouses where you can enter. Partly constructed one now. Just love that the detail. You can tell that this, you know, was in the middle of construction. You know, they've still got their materials here and a wheelbarrow. You know, they they've just left. They just left it in a decaying state. What's that up there? I mean, this is like, if we look at the map, I mean, this whole area is like what <laughs> five percent or you know ten percent of the whole frigging map and. There's so much to see and do in this one area. So this tour of Altis looks like it's going to be multiple videos. Um, a lot of these buildings around, these part-built uh, apartment things, they do make good uh, sniper positions. I mean, you've got some nice walls here for defense. Great view from here. Of course, I'm not a fan of snipers, but uh, there we go. So let's take a look in the less dense area got some villas or you know small little houses um, and you like farm areas got some bigger buildings here these old shacks but a nice little compound so you've got the walls and this is like a, you know just in the southern part of the city I want to go back into the city and find some of the uh, finer details of it so there's the uh, hospital and just a lot and lot this one's a pretty big building Jesus maybe some old houses adjacent to each other I thought it was a big villa but it's not still a nice building to uh, occupy not much of a view but uh, another apartment building here you can actually get on the roof of these things. And the vantage point of this one in particular is pretty amazing. You can have a stand-up firefight with guys on a roof over on the hospital roof. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, well, let's go take a look at the castle ruins. But what's that? Hillside village over there. Not too fast a bit too eager so yeah another basketball court in the middle of the city ah oh, the church I want to check out this church it's not particularly big for a city it's actually quite small but we've got the bells uh, let's take a look inside oh, you can actually go inside this one that's cool And do you say, sense a, a feeling of uh, holiness when you walk in here? You know, you've got the giant cross, which is, uh, you know, wood. <laughs> um, some pretty flowers in the windows. And maybe a nice place to hide out if you're taking fire. Take refuge in the uh, house of God, so to speak. And this uh, reservoir. How far into town does this go? So this comes from the sea. And I'm guessing it um, pumps all that sewage out, but uh, it doesn't go very far. It kind of dries up. That's not very good. Bridge here. And this would go all the way through the city, by the looks of it. All the way out to the uh, grove areas. Oh, we've got another industrial complex over here. And I believe this building was from the Stratus Island. It's quite a nice big building, actually. A lot of interval rooms there. Um, some silos. Not really sure what this old banger is. <laughs> it's cool nonetheless. Can we uh, open this door? Oh, fucking hell, he's doing that thing again. Oh, well. Maybe if I spawn. Oh, there we go. Might be able to... Uh, Get on this roof here. Yep, hey, <laughs> we saved ourselves. Can I climb down this fucking ladder though? Jesus, uh, 
I don't believe so. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I, I, I would have thought you could do that. Climb up them. So this looks like you can open it, get inside, hide a vehicle or something. That's pretty cool. Um, you can see the hospital from here as well, actually. So, oh, the ruins. Okay, I'm actually going to take a look at these. These are pretty amazing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop being a prep. Will I die? Probably die if I spawn there. Okay. Anyway, so we've got these like old steps uh, from the city. It's not really much of an entrance. It's sort of like hidden. As you can see, it's all like in the corner. <laughs> you've got this whole city and in like uh, this little barren corner uh, leading up to these epic ruins. Not really much of a entrance but uh dangerous coming through here surely if you've got enemy uh peering over these walls not really much you can do apart from run the gauntlet of bullets so we're actually in the ruins now mm, a lot of cover up there so you've got a, like a very weak spot at the entrance here especially if there's people on the roofs you got a nice view. Oh, this is a this is pretty cool. Not sure if you can get down there, but uh, look at this view from this. Uh, wow, this has got to be the best view and vantage point. Put a couple of AT launcher guys up here, and you are laughing. No vehicle or chopper is going to get close, but pretty vulnerable actually. Um, you do have some stone walls to take cover from but uh, from the air you're going to be pretty vulnerable so there's a tower over there I was going to take a look at that and just by the looks of it you can actually get to the top of this old thing let's take a look no banisters on the staircase of course this is like the uh, 1800s <laughs> ruins and a nice little sniper tower, actually. Although, you'd probably be better off on the corner over there. But still not too bad. So, this is the ruins. We've got an even higher point up here. And this is a pretty nifty sniper position. Although, the cover is limited. But just look at the down view you get of this city. It's pretty amazing. And what is that over there? Another industrial sort of complex. Got the piers below us. Nice pier over there with a shack on. Oh no, it's a church. Another church. Some uh, cargo containers. On the side there. And some smaller islands. With a... F what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> okay, we'll take a look at it in a minute. Anyway... Wow, what a sniper position up here. Just the view you get. Obviously, if you do get spotted and they know you're up here, you're very limited to your escape route. Because you're not going to be scaling that or this anytime quick. And I'm guessing your only option is to go through the main entrance. Which is, you know, it's a castle. They're not made to be penetrable. Maybe... You could escape there, but you may take some falling damage. I would have thought. I'm going to take a look at this island over here. Okay, yeah, just a couple of rocky islands. Uh, what was that shipwreck? Let's have a look. It is, is indeed. I wonder if I can... Uh, Oh, look, we're in the water now. Oh, look at this shipwreck. Can I go under the water? That's cool. There's so much to see. To see where it broke on the rocks here. Oh, fucking hell. I'm out of the water, but it still thinks I'm drowning. Okay. 
<laughs> look, my head's out of water, but I was still drowning. It's a bit, uh, bit of a bug. But uh, wow, look at this shipwreck. That is cool. I'd like to take a diving team here and investigate this, that's for sure. See what kind of treasures and cargo it had on board. Let's have a look inside. You can actually go pretty deep into the bow of this thing. Torn in half on this uh, rock here. Obviously need a lighthouse or something. Actually, I, don't, I haven't seen a lighthouse yet in Arntis. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, YouTubers and armor players alike. Armor, not armor. This is... Oh, I can keep forgetting the name. The city. We see the Caval, or... You know, I guess in this two towns, putting one... I call it Caval, because that's a, a bit easier. But just the size of this uh, city is uh, pretty amazing. What have we got here? Small bungalow things. I don't think I've seen them buildings before. Just going to take a quick looky. Oh, I may have seen these on Altis at uh, Stratus actually. And there's that uh, very intimidating guard tower on the uh, hillside there. Just look at this. Look at the size of it. Very intimidating indeed, but uh, is it it's really alone though? You could, you're not very, you know, it's not like a complex, sort of a lonely guard tower. But anyway, yeah, this is a uh, Caval. I think that's how you say it. Just a huge city and uh, part one of this Altis tour. I hope you enjoyed it and got some insight into the actual size and detail of this place. Um, there's a nice apartment building over there, underneath the uh, tower. I keep forgetting the friggin' buttons here. Where is it? So that's a nice uh, apartment building. Right on the beach here. You can bring your boats into the uh, port. And a lovely beach. Wow, look at this beach. You almost want to not fight in this game and just uh, do some sunbathing. <laughs> but yeah part one of this tour if you like it uh, comment below and we'll see if we can do some more there's plenty more to see on this island um, this is GVMEK signing out and I'll catch you later let's take one more look at the city fucking size of this thing I'll catch you later thanks for watching